Hey team, when you're float lining for fish and you're using pilchards, fair enough, in different size bags, you have a different variety of pilchards. You might get a large pilly like so, you might get a small pilly like that. There's quite a significant difference there. Now, generally when I'm running my float lining rigs, I'll have a snelled hook all the way down to your single hook, with a sinker above that, of course. But we don't want to use those larger five or six O's, okay, that has a very large gap in between, to accommodate a larger pilchard when we're using the smaller bait. Here's a way around that, and I reckon you might like it. Come in close and I'll show you what I'm doing. So all I do here, because the pilchard size, I've got two different size pillies here, look at those. Let's use a small one. In through the back, like you normally would. And then, this hook here, I'm gonna go right. I wanna put that much in. I wanna keep a little bit of slack line. I don't want it way up here, too much slack line. And if it's too tight, down there, it's gonna pull it around. So, I'm gonna give it about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. From here, I hold the bait in my left hand. I then start wrapping that line around the shank of that next hook, or the second hook, half a dozen times. Slide it up to the eye. Put the hook under the jaw of the fish and out through his nose. Like that. Pull the line tight up top, sinker comes down and there's our floating rig. We've adjusted it, so the next time, if I've got a larger pilchard, I can easily untangle that, run twist it, and move the hook up an extra inch or two.